my lovers welcome to my channel and welcome to the 1111 portal energy update for dm libra okay dm libra all right so these yeah i've put some love on it because um the dms have been going through a rough time especially this past week um there's been a serious cloud of depression over the dm collective right so i've put some love on it um when you're watching these 1111 portal readings um you're gonna watch your dm sun his moon is rising and his venus sign and then you're gonna watch your sun moon rising and venus sign as well because you might be operating in the masculine energy and they might be operating in the feminine okay all right so um we're gonna have a look first at the dm's dm libra general move not necessarily related, related to you but when we clarify we'll see if it's related to you but that's just general mode to see if they've shifted out of some of that energy that we were seeing there First card we got is Anxious Avoidant. Nearly all of them have gotten this card. Nearly all of them have gotten this card. Shadow Self. Um, you need to go watch, what's the one I just did? Aries, DM Aries. We have Going Through the Motions. We have fearful avoidance. We have joy. That's nice. So they seem like a silver lining in these energies. And we have withdrawn. Okay, I spoke too soon. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right. So we have two cards that talked about talks about um, anxious avoidance and fearful avoidance, which is basically the same thing, right? So um, the, these anxious avoidance or these fearful avoidance, um, what they do is that they really want emotional connection and intensity, but they're afraid of what it's going to bring um, because they go into relationships expecting that someone, the person is going to betray or hurt or abandon them at some point. So they never give themselves away. They always do something to prevent themselves from being fully attached to the person so this is the people that you know do the whole hot and cold thing so one minute they're all up under you and the next minute they, they've ghosted you so they do that whole hot and cold stuff um they might put up barriers to in the relationship go into third party situations so that they don't attach to anybody fully okay that that's part of their coping, coping mechanism they make sure that they have other options so they never attach fully um, to one person they never give themselves um, fully away but what I'm getting here is that um, they are being intensely pushed towards the DF by spirit by these energies intensely pushed and the intensity of the emotions that are coming up is scaring them very scary for them remember this is someone who's never fully given themselves away so the intensity of the emotions um, scaring them completely. So they're just going to avoid it. So they're going to a kind of robotic mode. So they detach from their emotions and they're just going to robotic mode and make sure they're detached because um, they're still operating in their shadow self here. Right? So, and they're withdrawn. So we're going to have to pull some cards on these just to clarify um, the messages. But basically that's what's going on here. All right. Let's see why fearful avoidant and anxious and anxious avoidance is here. Let's see. Spirit, why are they here? Fearful avoidance. Okay. Right. So this person knows that they have to free themselves from a particular situation, but just 
thinking about that freedom, thinking about what comes next after the freedom um, has them in a twist, right? You see, I told you, I told you. They're thinking about the things that they have to do to free themselves. And then they're thinking about, okay, so that's the first hurdle. And then the next hurdle now is to dealing with these in intense emotions with the soul connection. Okay? So that's why it's like they, they, they know they have to run towards, but yet they're running away, you know? Why shadow self here? Spirit, why shadow self here for DM Libra? As he goes through these 1111 energies. All right. So we see that this um, DM wants to be vulnerable. They want to open their heart. Oopsie. They want to release the ego. Because they realize that their ego has been blocking them from love. So I'm getting that this shadow self card is here because they're doing shadow work. Okay. They're releasing the ego. They're working on being vulnerable because they realize that this, this kind of energy here where they were all in ego, um, it's an emotional immaturity. And it also made them um, compromise um, a beautiful love. All right, well, we know about the girl going through the emotions and the fearful avoidance. And we know why they were withdrawn. What's this joy about? What is this joy about? Okay. It looks like they're getting very, they've gotten very stable. We have the king of pentacles here. So um, maybe in the material world, they're doing very well. Um, maybe they're thinking about brain commitment. Or some of them could have been learning their spiritual lessons. So they're finding joy in that. And some of them, they free themselves from some kind of commitment, maybe a marriage, and they're feeling joy where that is concerned. Okay, let me get another card here. Yeah, some of them are definitely independent. They're nine of pentacles energy. Independent, um, abundant, and that's why they're feeling this joy. So it looks like this particular DM, it seems has gotten rid of the third party or is about to. Um, get rid of a third party here because they are single and independent. All right, so let's look at their headspace and heart space energy for it. All right. This is not my usual music. Let me see what this is about. This is probably a message for you. Remove all negative blockages, erase subconscious negative patterns. Okay. So it looks like there was some kind of interference with your connection. So I need you guys to find that it's, it's this, the music is called remove all negative blockages, erase subconscious negative patterns. Okay. That's what you need to do right now. Cause that's not my usual music. My music is supposed to run for three hours. So that's a message for you. There's been interference in your connection. All right. So let me just give it one more shuffle here. Because that's definitely not my usual. I'm going to let it run for this reading. So the energy of this reading is seven of um, wands reverse. So this DM, they want to be vulnerable, but they're really hesitant about bringing in this truth to you. But they want to talk to you so, so bad. So you know that I don't want to bring in the truth, but I want to talk. And then they're in the stalemate energy. And they're in this grief. All right. So when your person, your DM Libra thinks about you, thinks about this connection, where's their head at? You are their total wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. They feel, they feel quite smug about bagging a catch like you. They feel quite smug about it. Because they realize that you could have anyone. You could choose to love anyone. Yeah. And they, wa they want another opportunity with you. But for some of them, they're wrapping up a karmic cycle right now. Let me turn this down. It's a bit loud. 
They're wrapping up a karmic cycle right now. Yeah, and freeing themselves. Beautiful energy for this dear. Beautiful energy. They're freeing themselves. Yeah, it looks like they've made some sort of decision here. They know what's the road ahead. Spirit wise, there's two of wands here. Yeah, because this with the, the freeing themselves card, uh, it looks like a decision made. Yeah, they want they want to bring justice. Justice has been served because you had a ten of pentacles, their lineage, their future, future generational wealth. So they're releasing themselves from a karmic cycle here. Spirit, why is the world here? Yeah. They now want to work hard on themselves and on this connection. They might not have been making the effort before, but now they're recognizing, hey, I have the ten of pentacles. Within reach, I have the ten of pentacles. Heart space energy for you. We have the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the World, rever the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And we have the Two of Pentacles reverse. So this is a DM that definitely does not want to juggle anymore. We have this um, Two of Pentacles here um, in the reverse position. So they've ended the juggling. But it looks like they're still wrapping up a karmic cycle. They're confused about something. I think they're thinking about the mind games that they, they um, played in the past. And they're thinking about the conflict that's going to ensue. Spirit, why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups? Right, some of them are... Uh, getting rid of uh, some kind of commitment might be a marriage here yeah they're taking action they're taking action in their life right to come in for this victory here spirit why is the wheel of fortune in reverse yeah some of them might still be in a toxic relationship but it looks like they're getting rid of that because we have that two of pentacles in reverse there yeah you see, they're, they're making a choice. They're making a choice. This soul connection or the devil. This soul connection or the devil. They're making a choice. Let me get a card. Yeah. So they might be saying goodbye um, to the past. They might be releasing the past. The past might be this devil energy um, we're seeing here because they know that you're the two of cups. Yeah. There are secrets that are being revealed. And now they're coming in passionately. So this um, DM is definitely handling a third party situation right now. Because they're recognizing that you're the ten of pentacles. You're the ten of pentacles. So they want to make the effort and they want to release themselves from any kind of self-sabotage. Or any kind of um, situation that they may feel trapped in. All right, so Spirit, what's the advice here for the viewer? What does the viewer have to do, the person that's watching this? What do they have to do as we go into um, these union energies? What do they have to do? We have Diana, the Huntress. Um, you have to go in huntress mode or hunter mode, whichever one suits you, right? It says, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make a mark. So now it's time for razor focus, razor focus. Okay. You're going to concentrate only on what you want to manifest. Nothing else. Don't be distracted by anything else. Only on what you want to manifest here. So if you want to manifest union, you keep your thoughts, your feelings, your actions on your target. Okay? Okay, guys, this was your reading. If you enjoy this reading, please press the like button. Make a comment down below, even if it's just a smiley face. And definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I post every day. Okay? Um, if you want me to look into your particular situation, uh, my description for my um, readings are down below. All right, guys. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.